Welcome to the EFSA World Championships in Reykjavik, Iceland. Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. The field of 24 is now down to the final 12 competitors. We saw early on in the competition, it was fast, furious, and heavy. From the Apollon's axle to the Alcan aluminum block lifting, from the giant Goodyear tire flips, we are down to 12 athletes. Nick Best, Vitas Blakaitis, Solis Brusokas, Irvin Katona, and Mikhail Kuklaev, Bendik Magnuson are the first six. Muramets, Ortmeier, Savika, Shapansky, Thompson, and Vitaschuk round out the field. There are your final 12 competitors. One of these gentlemen will be crowned IFSA world champion. That man before was Zadruna Zavikis, last year's world champion crowned in Quebec City, Canada. Each of these men have a chance to become the strongest man on the planet. Ilka Kanunen. Dr. Douglas Edmonds, and of course, the legend of strongmen, Magnus for Magnuson, all overseeing the event. A great crowd here in Reykjavik, Iceland, throughout the competition. The deadlift is the purest kind of strength. It tests every muscle in the human body. The giant barbell deadlift, Mikhail Kuklaev of Russia. He knows this apparatus. He is probably one of the top two or three in the world. 320 kilos, 705 pounds. We pick it up during his seventh repetition. Kuklaev going after the world record, which is held by Zadruna Savikas at 10 repetitions. Misha with eight. One of the few men that may be able to knock off Zajuna Savikas as the world champion is the man you're watching right here, Mikhail Kuklaev of Russia. He has nine repetitions, 20 seconds left on the clock. Can he pull out the 10th and 11th repetition and take the world record away from Zajuna Savikas? There is number 10. Is there enough time for number 11? The clock is winding down. On Misha, he gets it through to the knees, but can he straighten it all the way up? No, the clock goes, and Kuklaya finishes with 10 repetitions, equaling the world mark set by Lithuania Savikas. And screaming to the crowd, John Paul Sigmundson Power. British strongest man, Ollie Thompson, standing at six feet tall, 304 pounds. The giant barbell deadlift tests every muscle in an athlete's body. We pick it up with Thompson on his fourth rep. Ripping out number five is Ollie Thompson. He knows he's got some ground to make up if he's going to try to track down Kuklaev and Savikas and the likes of the big men in this competition. There's number six for Great Britain's Ole Thompson. He's got it to the knees. Can he lock out rep number seven? Ole Thompson doing all he can and just can't hang on to it. One more try, but a valiant effort is not enough for Ole Thompson. The 26-year-old from Great Britain, he's the 2006 British Strongest Man. I just played many, many sports growing up at school. I played every, every sport, very competitive and uh, I guess just uh, I played football, played rugby, then I didn't know what to do with myself, so I was bored, so I started going in the gym and it came very easy for me, so it was a natural thing to do for me. Really, when I started Strongman, I didn't know what Strongman was. Just some guys in my gym were doing it, and I joined in, and I won the competitions, and I liked, I liked to win, so I do what I, do what I like. That's why I do it, because it's good. I do it if I'm successful.
Next up, Lithuanian second strongest man. It's Vitas Blakaitis. Lakaitis has been outstanding throughout this competition. He's put on a clinic in some portions, and I'll tell you something, if it wasn't for Zidruna Savickas, Vitas Blakaitis would have quite a few more titles to his mounting hardware at home. Five repetitions as he looks off at Dr. Douglas Edmonds for the signal to put down. He'll take a knee in a few seconds to gather his strength one more time. Mikhail Koklaev started out with 10 repetitions. That's a lofty goal for anyone to beat. Nice job by Manspeed as he's known at home in Lithuania. The seventh repetition. 10 seconds, Ten seconds left. Does he have time for one more? Lekaitis, can he lock it out in time? That is a good repetition just as the clock expires. Vitas Blakaitis with eight repetitions. <laughs> Up next, Poland, Robert Szczepanski. A true powerhouse of a man. Szczepanski has been fabulous in the deadlift. Look at the blood starting to drip from his nose. 320 kilos, 705 pounds does this giant barbell weigh. There are seven repetitions for Szczepanski. There's still quite a bit of time on the clock. He may be able to track down the top number set by Mikhail Kuklaev of Russia. Eight repetitions, one more will get him that much closer to top spot. 15 seconds, it's gonna be very tough to rip out two big deadlifts in 15 seconds, but look at Szczepanski putting a little distance between him himself and Blakaitis. That's repetition number nine. Great job from Poland's Robert Szczepanski. Now Bendik Magnuson, the hometown favorite, a deadlifting hero and legend here in Iceland. But as any athlete will tell you, there's a big difference between deadlifting for power and deadlifting for repetitions. Bendik is a world record holder and former world record holder in the deadlift in both the IPF and WPO, but this is completely different than anything he's been doing before. The strain on his face as rep number seven goes up tells the whole story for Benny Bendik Magnussen of Iceland. The 23-year-old strongman is putting on a clinic and a show for the family here in his hometown, unable to get rep number eight up and locked out. And he says thank you to the hometown crowd. A great performance from the 23-year-old Icelander from Reykjavik, Benny Bendik Magnuson, Icelandic Strongman 2003 and the Icelandic Strongman from 2006. Ah, yeah. When I was a kid, I saw John Paul on TV and Later on, I, I had the chance to meet him, and I remember he uh, he mixed this protein drink, and he put leftover food from yesterday's uh, dinner into the drink, and just blended it, and then he drank it and told me, you have to be ready to do, do anything if you want to be the best. And I think we here in Iceland, we all follow this code. We just do our best in everything. No, I just have a great family. My, my massage therapist is my mother and uh, my training partner. He takes care of me, he brings me water and uh, he helps me with my training and my warming up. And then I have my girlfriend. She taught me how to train for Stroma because she's an excellent strong woman too. And that of course is Gemma Taylor, Britain's strongest woman. Now it's the current world champion, Zadrunas Zafikis. 
He's been beaten in competition only once in the past 24 months. With six repetitions to his credit. Here's Savickas, lock it out number seven, and he does it with relative ease. Can Savickas top his own world record? That mark was equaled by Mikhail Kuklaev earlier on in the competition. Here comes number nine. No problem for Zajuna Savickas. Starting to breathe a little heavier, Savickas turns up and locks out number 10. He's got some time if he wants to put the world record the rest at number 11. Dr. Douglas Edmonds telling him how much time is left on the clock. Savickas says, you know what? I'm gonna walk away before I strain something that I shouldn't because there's a long day of competition to come. Yeah, no, it was not so easy. <sighs> but uh, it's first event. I must keep power for another event. American Nick Best now stepping up to take on the giant barbell deadlift. 320 kilos, 705 pounds. We pick up Nick Best on his fifth repetition, and that is a solid effort. Look how close together the heels are of Nick Best. That's very difficult. He's all upper body strength, getting that giant barbell off the floor. Best good on number six. Again, he takes a knee. That may mean he only has one rep left in him. Possibly two if he hurries. Great determination. Great look in his eyes. Look at this second effort from American Nick Best. Seven repetitions and he lets go. Nick Best with a superb effort in the giant barbell deadlift. That's for you, Dale. That's for you, Dale. So the giant barbell deadlift has been what separated some of the top men in the final 12 from the also rans. I'll tell you something, Sejuna Savickas and Mikhail Kuklaev put on an absolute clinic in this first event. Kuklaev and Savickas with 10 lifts get 11 and a half points each. Robert Chapansky gets 10 and Blakaita sits in third. Irvin Katona and Vasil Vedaschuk sitting in fourth and fifth spot respectively. Vedaschuk tied with Mudermetz and Ali Thompson. Farmer's walk is about endurance and especially grip strength. First to take up the heavy set on the farmer's walk, Solis Brusokis. Brusokis took off the first event, the deadlift, because of a sore hamstring muscle that has prevented him from competing in the static strength events. He takes on American Travis Ortmeier. We move from 125 to 160 kilos, or 353 pounds in each hand, and they'll run a 50-meter course. Travis Ortmeier, the first out of the gate past 10 meters. Brusokis with a put down. That's very early on for Solius Brusokis. You have to wonder if both of these men will be able to finish this massive 50 meter course. Ortmeier having all sorts of difficulty staying within the lanes. Will he be able to make the turn here and head back after the first 25 meters? The very tough portion for him because he didn't completely get the implements around the cones. Rusokas with another put down. He's shy of 20 meters. Ortmeier makes the turn at 25. Solis Brusokas just doesn't know what to do with the final 10 seconds left on the clock. Rusokas will pick up a few extra meters. But boy, that will be it for Solis Brusokas. He's going to walk away at 18.20 meters, while Travis Ortmeier finishes at 31.30 meters. Really difficult to walk with. That's a lot better than my result last year, so I guess I can be happy with it for now. Next up is the former world champion, Vasil Vedaschuk of Ukraine. The farmer's walk has always been a specialty of his. Oli Thompson from Great Britain has put on a very good show here in Iceland to get this far into the finals. And look at Vitaschuk come flying out of the gates to start things off. 
160 kilos in each hand, 353 pounds. Thompson with a put down, just shy of the 10 meter mark. Vitaschuk goes almost a full 25 meters before his put down. Thomas, now the on, so the 32 meter win. The world record is sitting at 50.02 seconds for 50 meters set by Estonia's Andrus Muramets. Vereschuk makes the turn. 10 seconds left on the 75 second time limit. Vereschuk has 10 meters to go to complete the course, but look at Ollie Thompson in all sorts of difficulty. He finishes with a distance of 11.15 meters. Vereschuk with a distance of 38.95. Vasil says, it was very difficult to start now after the deadlift. Very hard. My back doesn't work, my legs cannot go. Now it's up to Irvin Katona of Serbia. And he goes against the Estonian police officer, Andrus Muramet, nicknamed The Rock. They both come out of the gate. Muramets is the current world record holder at 50.07 seconds. And look at him fly out of the gate. Katona has already had a put down. The grip strength from Andrus Muramets is absolutely astounding. He makes the turn and the put down. Katona is trying to get back on course. 160 kilos in each hand. 353 pounds, and Andrus Muramets will complete the course in time. Does he get the world record? Yes, he does. 46.35 seconds for Andrus Muramets, smashing his own world record. Irvin Katona at 25 meters with the clock expiring, gives it his all. New world record, it's very good. Well, Andrus Muramets has a new world record in the 160 kilogram farmer's walk, but the man who took his world record away from him at the 125 kg farmer's walk in the qualifier is Nick Best, and he goes against Bendik Magnussen here. 353 pounds in each hand, 160 kilos, a 50 meter course, and a 75 second time limit. Best moving down the course past 10 meters. Magnuson staying with him every step of the way. Both men get to the corner at 25 meters and are able to hang on and make the turn. Best struggling to make a complete turn. He'll have to shift the implements. Now Benny Magnuson gathers his strength one more time. Intestinal fortitude is what it's added for these athletes at this point in time. Another put down from Nick Best. And look at Magnuson, he keeps going. He's past the midway point of the final 25 meters. Best trying to catch up to him. The stainless steel farmer's walk implements are like razors in the palms of these giant athletes. Magnuson with a put down. Time is starting to wind down on the athletes. Only 10 seconds left. Maybe a meter or two left in each athlete. Best gets his few, last few meters as the clock goes. He finishes at 38.55. Magnuson, 44.45 meters. What a job from the young Icelander. It was good. I mean, it's the first time I picked that particular setup, so. I'll get better with it, but I uh, spent a lot of that deadlift. There is Nick Best, a 38-year-old American from Las Vegas, Nevada. Likes to play a little bit of hockey. He was the national champion in 1996 and 97. <sighs> Gotta breathe. I'm just starting to kind of realize what I did. I mean, you don't even know. You just pick it up and go as fast as you can, make a turn, come back, make another turn, and go as fast as you can to through the finish line. You don't realize what you're doing when you're doing it. And then you sit back and you go, wait a minute, I just did that faster than anybody else has ever done it before. Whoa. <laughs> so. I 
train in the gym about three days a week, and then I go do implements one day. I'm starting to buy and purchase more implements so I can keep practicing. The more I practice with something, the better I get with it. Family's huge. My little boy is great. Best thing in the world. I mean, I just, I'm all about my kid. You know, this stuff can come and go and everything else. All that matters is him. So. When I, I called him, I told him I broke the world record. And he just went crazy on the phone. But my tiny whities. Nick Best showing the crowd here in Reykjavik, Iceland, what it takes to get ready for an event such as the Farmer's Walk. There is Robert Japanski, the Polish powerhouse taking on Vitas Blakaitis of Lithuania. 160 kilos in each hand. That is a massive 353 pounds, a 50 meter course in 75 second time limit. Japanski. Look at the grip strength on him as he's going through the first 25 meters with relative ease before a quick put down. Blakaitis has put down once and is now catching up to Schapansky. The big important thing for Schapansky and Blakaitis is negotiating the turn and being able to get the implements straight away for their final run down the laneway. Lakaitis puts down. Now he has to conserve energy because he's got to make that turn and head back for the final 25 meters. Schapansky doing the best he can do to try to get as many meters out of that muscle tissue as he's got. Lakaitis having all sorts of difficulty trying to get around the 25 meter mark. Schapansky, a second effort, 10 seconds left on the clock. Robert Chapansky may just run out of time here at the World Championships. Lakaitis lifts one more time, gets another meter before knocking over the marker. 26-115 for him and Chapansky, 34.20 meters. Robert Chapansky says, I come from Poland. I'm 31 years of age and I'm very satisfied in this discipline. This is my ninth record. I'm very happy. Thank you. Ogólnie na razie idzie mi nieźle. Jestem bardzo zadowolony. Thank you. Now a treat for Strongman fans worldwide as we get to watch two of the best the world has to offer. The current world champion, Zadrunas Savikas, and the man who looks to take away his crown, that is Mikhail Kuklaev of Russia. Look at both men flying through the first 25 meters. Kuklaev with a push down at about 20 meters. Savikas puts down as well. Kaklaev fails to negotiate the turn. That can be very difficult because now he's got to make a pickup, a turn, and then another run down the laneway. Savikas felt by the same fate and he quickly puts down. Kuklaev and Zadruna Savikas tied for first place in the finals after one of it. They're going head to head. Look at Savikas trying to catch up to Kuklaev in the final eight seconds. Kuklaev wants to gather it up. He wants one more run, a couple of more meters. As Savikas is now just slightly behind him, but the time expires. It's not a, of my best event. I think I did more than last year, and I am not so disappointed with this result. Not so disappointed indeed, because Sejuna Savica still sits near the top and has a great opportunity to hang on to his IFSA World Championship crown. What a job by all the athletes with these tremendously heavy implements, especially on that extreme farmer's walk out of 160K. Here's Andrus Bermet setting the world record at 46.36 seconds. Bendik Magnuson in second, Vasil Virischuk sitting in third. Robert Chapansky happy with his placing. Travis Ortmeier, Vitas Blakaitis, and Oli Thompson round out your 12 finalists. Here's how they sit. Kuklaev in first, a one-point lead over Savikas. 
Benny Magnuson and Andrus Bermets in third and fourth. Then it's former champion Vasil Vereschuk in fifth with Ortmeier and Thompson in ninth and tenth. Coming up next on the IFSA World Championships of Strongman from Reykjavik, Iceland, we go to the log lift for max weight. That's an event that's made for the world champion, Zadruna Savickas, his best event ever. Then, of course, the wheelbarrow hold with the giant Toyota trucks. Stay with us next time on IFSA Strongman World Championships. I'm Doug Anderson. Join us on the web at www.ifsastrongman.com. Thank <laughs> you.